of chapter electricity one by one so let's start with uh, the formula of resistivity that is r is equal to rho into l by a this is what rho which is defined as specific resistance also r is here normal resistance l is length and a is what area so on the basis of this formula let uh, solve one numerical here let's suppose you have given a wire okay a wire of length wire ka length diya hua hai 1 km let's suppose you have a wire of length 1 km and uh, normally we use copper wire so let's just take here copper wire we are taking copper wire whose length is what 1 km and uh, we need to find the resistance here. We need to find what? Resistance. What is the resistance of that wire whose length is what? 1 kilometer. As this is copper wire, so you will have given the specific resistance of that. So that I am writing here. The specific resistance which is what? Rho. Suppose it is given here 1.72 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter. Okay. So this is the value of, this is the length of wire that is 1 kilometer. This is the value of specific resistance that is also given we have. And one more thing is given here, the radius of wire. <coughs> radius of wire is suppose uh, 1 millimeter. Okay. At first we have to convert it in standard unit. As you can see the length is in kilometer. So we should convert it in meter first. So it will be what? 1000 meter you can write it like this also 10 to the power 3 meter and here it is in millimeter so we need to convert it also in meter so for that we have to convert it like this it will be 1 by 1000 meter you can write it like this 10 to the power minus 3 meter it's very simple at first you need to convert all the terms whatever we have given in standard form obviously now the formula of resistance, we need to find here resistance only. The formula of resistance is what? R is equal to rho into L by A. Rho we have given, L we have given, but area is not given here. As here radius is given, the wire kaisa hota hai? It is like this. So area of cross section jo hai, it, the formula will be what? Pi r square, right? It is circular. So the area of cross section will be what? Pi r square. So at first we will find the area here. Area is what? Pi r square you can take 3.14 or 22 by 7 uh, as per your question what you can use there okay i'm just taking 3.14 here r square r is what 10 to the power minus 3 so this is your area pi r square right now we will put the value of these all things in this formula that is what r is equal to rho into l by a just put the values Rho ki value kitni hai? It is 1.72 into 10 to the power minus 8. Now, what is the value of L? L is 10 to the power 3 because it was in kilometer. We converted it in meter. Uh, always remember this. We need to convert all the terms in standard unit. Okay. Now, just put the value of area. Area is what? 3.14 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. It's very simple to solve. Just use exponential formula to solve this. Okay. Just merge these two first. Is correct. 10 to the power minus 8 into 10 to the power 3. Multiplication may power kya hota hai? Add hota hai. So it will be 10 to the power what? Minus 5. Right? Now here 3.14 into. Here kya ho jayega? 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. Now, 1.72 divided by what? 3.14 into. Now, here minus 6 super jayega. 10 to the power minus 6 into 10 to the power, uh, sorry, minus 5. Or minus 6 super jayega, to kya ho jayega? Plus 6. So, it will be 10 to the power what? 1. Okay? Right? So, this is our calculation. Now, you can calculate it and you will get the value. It will be approximately, uh, actually no need to solve, you just solve it later, okay. So this is the way by which you can solve this equation uh, or solve this question which we have. Here the length of y was given, here the resistivity is also given, here the radius of this wire is also given. Only we need to find the resistance of this wire. 
For that, we use the formula resistance is equal to rho into L by A. Then we fitted the values of these all terms. Here only we need to find the area at first because we was given only radius. So at first we got the area that is pi r square because the wire is generally in circular shape. So area of cross section will be what? Pi r square. Now just put it the values of this all term, you will get the answer. Whatever you are getting, that ohm will be the resistance of this particular thousand meter wire. Got it? Okay. Now just move to the next type of question. This is one type of question that they can ask you. This is very important question. We have different different of different different question actually based on this particular topic or this particular formula that we will solve later. Okay, in the in your textbook also we have some type of question, so we will solve that also. Now I'm just moving to next uh, formula. Next is based on resistances. We already discussed about resistances. Resistances can be combined in series, can be combined in parallel or sometimes we can use a combination of both series and parallel. So I am going to solve few numericals which is based on combination of resistances. Okay. I am just making a circuit diagram first. Uh, let's suppose we have a circuit diagram in which we are taking... Um, Two registers. We are taking two registers here. Now you can see these two are connected in parallel because in ka jo end se wo common hai yaha pe, so these are connected in what parallel. I'm just taking a cell or battery here, a switch, and suppose I current is passing through this potential difference is V. This is R1. This is R2. Let's suppose take some value for this. Suppose this is 4 ohm. This is also 4 ohm. R1 ki value kitni 4 ohm. R2 ki value kitni 4 ohm. Potential difference also you can take something like 12 volt. Suppose. Now we need to find how much current will pass through this particular circuit. How much current will pass through this circuit. At first we have to find the net resistance here. To find the net resistance we need to actually observe the registers are connected in either parallel or series. So as you can see, this is just a simple diagram in which you can see both the registers are connected in parallel. So at first we will find the net resistance here. The formula of net resistance to find the net resistance is what? 1 by Rp is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. As we are taking only two registers here, so the formula will be this much only. 1 by Rp is equal to what? 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. Now just put the value of this. This will be 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. If you will solve it, it will be 2 by 4. So you are getting the value of 1 by RP. Listen, this is very important to understand. We are finding the value of 1 by RP here, not RP. 1 by RP. So what you are getting here? 1 by RP is equal to 2 by 4 means to say what? 1 by 2. But we need to find net resistance in parallel. So that will be what? If 1 by RP is 1 by 2, to RP will be what? 2 ohm. Always remember to convert 1 by RP into RP. This is very important. Most of most of the students make this mistake. That's why I'm telling you. So just remember it. It is the value of 1 by RP. So you need to convert it into RP. Because this was the reciprocal of net resistance, right? So you are getting the value of resistance here. That is what 2 ohm. Now uh, we have a register in which we are putting a, a voltmeter in which the reading is what? 12 volt. Now, if you want to find the current in this particular circuit, then we have a formula of Ohm's law that is V is equal to IR. By using this formula, you can find the current in this circuit, right? Okay, now just put the values here. What is the value of V? That is 12. And uh, by R, so R ki value kitni hai? 2. You will get the current. What? It will be value of current is what? 6 ampere here. Because ampere is the standard unit of current. Got it. So in this way, you can solve the questions. Jaisi ki abhi humne yaha pe kiya. Here the registers were connected in parallel. So we did this. If it is connected in series, then what we will do? Let's see. Okay. Clear this one. So I'm rubbing this to solve another question. Now, now I'm taking a, a circuit here where we will connect the registers in series. This is our cell, this is switch, now I am taking here, let's take two registers, 
just to make it simple okay now this is your potential difference that is 12 volt i am taking uh, registers of 10 ohm each here okay i am taking registers of 10 ohm each here now we need to find the total current in a circuit okay so at first what we have to do at first we have to find the net resistance in a circuit so to find the net resistance in this circuit as you can see this is end to end connection because both the resistors are connected end to end so it is a series combination to find net connect net resistance in this what we need to do only to sum up these two only to sum up these two algebraically normal so it will be what 10 plus 10 that is what 20 ohm this is the net resistance in this circuit now if you want to find the net current in the circuit net current ke liye hamare paas kya formula v is equal to i r we have given already v and r what is v so to find this it will be v by r what is v it is 12 what is uh, your r it is 20 right so this is the value of current in your circuit got it so in this way you can find the net current or net resistance of whole circuit this is very simple now i'm making one more diagram which uh, where we will use the combination of parallel and series at the same time i think this is clear now right okay One more example which is based on resistance, it is quite different, so let's solve this. Suppose we are taking three registers here, okay, first one is of um, 6 ohm suppose, it is 2 ohm and this one is 4 ohm. Okay, now the potential difference is suppose 24 volt in this circuit. Okay, we are taking potential difference here what 24 volt we need to find at first the total current in a circuit okay and then listen carefully what is the question here what is the twist here first we will find the current here okay and then next is what pd across suppose this is your r1 this is your r2 and this is your r3 then we need to find here pd across r1 as we already know when we connect the registers in series then we have to provide different different voltmeter to all the uh, registers right okay so here the pd get distributed when we connect the registers in series the pd get distributed obviously if there are three registers then the pd will divide it in three parts here it will consume v1 it will consume v2 and it will consume v3 so we need to find the potential difference across R1. I'm just putting a voltmeter here also to make it simple so that you can understand it easily. Okay, so these are the three voltmeter that I'm putting here because these are connected in series. So obviously, we need to put voltmeter to each resistors, right? Okay, so now at first we need to find the net current in the circuit and then the potential difference across R1 only. So let's start. At first we will find what? At first we will find net resistance and to find net resistance is very simple only we need to sum up these all the formula is as here we have 3 register so it will be like this. Now just sum up these all it will be 6 plus 2 plus 4 that is 12 ohm right. This is the value of resistance net resistance is what 12 ohm. Now at first we will find the current in the circuit. So, to find the current in a circuit, the formula is what? V is equal to I R. Just put the value of V is given. We have even the value of R also we got. So, what will be the current? The current will be 2 ampere. Right? We got the current of 2 ampere. Now, in series combination, the current never distributed. But the PD which will get distributed here. So, that's why we need to find the PD across R1. Okay, what we will do to find this? Listen, we need to find PD across R1, right? Okay, so what will be the formula to find the PD across R1? Obviously, the PD across R1 is what? V1. So, V1 will equal to I R1 because current is not distributed here. So, I will constant here in series combination that we already discussed. So, V1 is equal to I R1, right? So, just put the value of... Uh, Current and resistance here, current we got here, current is what? 
टू एम्पियर रेजिस्टेंस आर वन की वैल्यू कितनी है दैट इज सिक्स सो वट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ पी वन इट विल बी ट्वेल्व वोल्ट सो ट्वेल्व वोल्ट ऑफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज सप्लाइड टू दिस वन रजिस्टर अब बचा आपके पास टोटल ट्वेंटी फोर है बचा कितना ट्वेल्व तो रिमेनिंग ट्वेल्व इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन टू एंड फोर ओम रजिस्टर्स गॉट इट सो समेटेसली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द पीडी अक्रॉस आर टू देन ऑल्सो यू कैन फाइंड ओनली वी नीड टू यूज द फॉर्मूला वी टू इज इक्वल टू आई आर टू गेट इन ना सो दिस दिस इन दिस वे यू कैन फाइंड द पीडी अक्रॉस ईच रजिस्टर यू वॉन्ट ओके सो जस्ट मूव टू नेक्स्ट जिसमें कि हम लोग कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ पैनल एंड सीरीज लेने वाले हैं आई एम मेकिंग अ सर्किट डायग्राम यूर फर्स्ट वी आर टेकिंग थ्री रजिस्टर्स या एंड टू रजिस्टर्स अब एंड जस्ट मेक अ सर्किट डायग्राम अभी यहाँ पे जगह नहीं है तो यू कैन पुट योर सेल बैटरी हियर ऑल्सो एंड जस्ट टेक अ स्विच नाउ दिस इज रजिस्टेंस आर वन राइट ओके जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ दैट सपोज दिस इज टेन ओम दिस इज योर रजिस्टर आर टू जस्ट टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एज सपोज फोर्टी ओम ओके दिस इज योर रजिस्टर आर थ्री आर फोर एंड आर फाइव That is thirty, twenty, and sixty ohm simultaneously. I'm taking here five registers are here. You can see first two registers are here, and remaining three registers are three. This is R three, R four, and R five. Okay, the value of each register is given. We have ten ohm, forty ohm, and here thirty, twenty, and sixty ohm. Okay, and uh, if suppose you are connecting it with a uh, battery of potential difference 12 volt you are connected this with a battery of potential difference what 12 volt now we need to find the total current here kya find out karna hai total current but before that we have to find the total resistance or net resistance here so we will solve it like this just solve at first this part okay i am solving this part here now what you will see about these two resistors r1 uh, and r2 r1 and r2 both are connected in parallel combination because dono ka jo end hai wo common hai this is the common end for both the resistor right now so you can say these two resistors are connected in parallel iska end स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट इस रजिस्टर का ये और एंडिंग पॉइंट इस रजिस्टर दोनों रजिस्टर का ये है सो दिस टू आर कनेक्टेड इन पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन राइट गेटिंग ना दिस टू आर कनेक्टेड इन पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड द नेट रजिस्टेंस हियर सो इट विल बी वन बाय टेन प्लस वन बाय फोर्टी राइट एलसीएम ले लेते हैं ये कितना हो जाएगा फोर प्लस वन फाइव बाय फोर्टी so what will be the value of rp here 40 by 5 right yani ki 8 ohm the value of rp in a of section is what 8 ohm got it now we will solve this part here also you can see the registers r3 r4 and r5 are connected in again parallel combination because in sab ka jo end hai tino ka end common hai so these three are also connected in parallel combination so we need to find net resistance here also let's solve it 1 by rp is equal to kya ho jayega 1 by 30 1 by 20 plus 1 by what 60 okay now just solve it as it will be 60 only it is 2 3 and 1 right okay so the value of 1 by rp is what 6 by 60, so RP will be what? How much? 10 ohm, right? Now just make the diagram like this. अभी तक हमारा diagram जो था, उसको हम लोग थोड़ा simplify कर देते हैं, because we already combined these two. So I just compress it and take this as what? 8 ohm. Got it? हमने इन दोनों को merge करके net answer was 8 ohm. Just put it. 
and here also when you are combining these three register you got the answer of net resistance as what 10 ohm now just take this register as how much 10 ohm got it so we combined here and here and now disconnect it now just see this is your starting point or this is your ending point now these two registers what we will say about these two registers these two registers are connected end to end right end to end connected hai hai na ek hi loop mein end to end connected hai is register ka jo starting point hai aur dusre register ka ending point hai right okay so these two are connected in series now so 8 and 10 ohm the total resistance in this circuit will be now 10 plus 8 18 ohm got it okay now you can find current here also if you want to find current then we will use the formula of v is equal to ir we have given already potential difference we already got the value of net resistance so you can find easily the net current in the circuit okay got it so i'm loving this also this type this type of question will come in your exam this is very important and at the same time it's very simple also you can solve it easily only we need to understand uh, whether the registers are connected in parallel or series only you need to understand that part only so let's do one more question which is based on uh, combination of resistances it's quite different this time making a diagram first mm. E banaya mene. I'm putting here also one register. Even here also. Okay, this is point A, this is point B. Um, this is C, D, A, K, point B. It is E. Here also I'm taking two registers. It's like this. Okay. The value of each register is 3. Just take this as 3 ohm, obviously. These all are what? 3 ohm. Okay. We need to find the net resistance in the circuit, but when there are more than uh, 2 or more ends, then what uh, they will ask you to find the resistance between these two ends. Okay. For example, if suppose in this question I'm talking, then first we need to find the resistance between A and B. And second question is to find the resistance between uh, we have C or D bachawa. So C and D point. Okay. At first we will find the net resistance between A and B. So see the diagram carefully. This is your point A, this is your point B. In dono ke beech mein hume resistance find out karna. So you need to start from here and then end to here, right? So see carefully. These two register, suppose this is R1 and R2. These two registers are connected end to end. Got it? Dek, yaan se shuru ho raha hai. Phir dus, matlab, ye A point is starting. E is ending. Phir second register ka E is starting and B is ending. So you can say these two registers are connected in series. Okay. So these two are connected in series. At first we will find the value of net resistance here. That is of sum of R1 and R2. Because these two are connected in series. Because they are connected in end to end connection. So it will be what? 6 ohm. Abhi ye dono to merge karke humne bana liya. 6 ohm. Now your diagram will be like this. See. A and B is here only. But ye dono ko merge karke jo humne banaya. Wo aisa ho gaya abhi. It's like this. Right? These two we must. It is now 6 ohm. This is what? 3 ohm. Now, if we want to find the net resistance between A and B. Then you can see these two are connected in what? Parallel. Right? So, if these two are connected in parallel. Then to find the net resistance. What we will do? It will be like this. 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3. Right? The solve it. 6. 1. 2. It will be what? 3 by 6. But this is the value of 1 by RP. So RP will be what? 6 by 3. That is only 2 ohm. Right? Okay. So this is the net resistance in the circuit. Kaha par? Between A and B. So between A and B we already find the resistance. That is what? 2 ohm. 
नाउ इफ आई से फाइंड द रजिस्टर्स बिटवीन सी एंड डी अब ये सी यहाँ है ये डी यहाँ है सी केयरफुली दीज ऑल थ्री मर्स टूगेदर दीज ऑल थ्री मर्स टूगेदर वी गॉट द आंसर दैट इज टू ओम सो वट विल बी योर नेक्स्ट डायग्राम दिस वॉज योर ए पॉइंट राइट अभी ये हमारा ये तीनों का मर्ज होके यहाँ पे आ गया इट इज काइंड ऑफ टू ओम नाउ नाउ द डायग्राम इज लाइक दिस एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द नेटरिस्टर्स बिटवीन सी एंड डी स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट सी है एंडिंग पॉइंट डी है यू कैन सी ऑल द थ्री रजिस्टर्स आर कनेक्टेड एंड टू एंड इयर ये इसका स्टार्टिंग एंडिंग ये इसका एंडिंग ये इसका स्टार्टिंग और ये इसका एंडिंग ये इसका स्टार्टिंग राइट लाइक एंड टू एंड कनेक्शन यू कैन सी हियर सो दीज थ्री रजिस्टर्स आर नाउ कनेक्टेड इन वट सीरीज सो टू फाइंड द नेट रजिस्टेंस बिटवीन सी एंड डी वी नीड टू एड ऑनली दीज थ्री सो इट विल बी थ्री प्लस टू प्लस थ्री कितना हो गया ये एट ओ got it i'll give you some assignment which is based on this type of numerical then it will be more clear to you uh, just try to understand this and try to understand actually the registers are connected in series or parallel this is the key point that we need to understand in this kind of numericals okay if you are getting that then obviously it's very simple to solve this kind of questions because only we need to understand either they are connect whether they are connected in series or parallel right if you are getting that part then obviously it is very simple no need to do anything else okay so uh, we will move to our next uh, formula that is um h is equal to i square rt okay what h is equal to i square rt if in question they are asking you find the total energy consumed find the total energy consumed uh, of a by a device okay i'm just giving you one example here this i'm taking a um, device here whose current is ab yahan par jo jo hai wo hum le lete hain whose current is suppose 5 ampere okay now resistance resistance bhi kuch to hoga hi chalo 50 ohm le lete hain chalo ye resistance hai aapka okay ab hai time to so time ab chalaoge usko suppose 5 minute ke liye hum log usko run kar rahe hain You have a device, okay? You are passing फाइव ampere current through them. मैंने आपको पहले ही बताया the current is either distributed in फाइव ampere or फिफ्टीन ampere. So we are passing फाइव ampere current through that, and the resistance of that particular device is what फिफ्टी ohm. And we are passing electricity through that particular device for फाइव minutes. So what will be the energy? or they can ask you what will be the work done by that what will be the work done by electrons even also so work done puche heat energy puche energy puche we need to put this formula only that is what h is equal to i square rt so just put the value of these all this part is very simple it is 5 ampere it is 50 but when you are putting the value of time then of course minute is not a standard unit of time right so we have to convert it in second first so it will be what 300 second now you can put it 5 into 15 into what 300 so you will get your answer this is the heat or energy consumed or released or work done by that particular device this will be in joule only right the value of it will be in joule uh, i square tha i just put it one i here it will be 5 into 5 into 50 i square r into t got it now if you will solve it so it will be 375 right but this much joule you can convert it into kilojoule also you can write it like this also it will be kilojoule kilojoule so it will be like this h is equal to 375 kilojoule that we are getting here so this kind of uh, question you can solve easily because here current will be given resistance will be given time will be given or sometime it will if quite twisted then uh, we have something different to get these all things from there and obviously we will get that from there and then just put the value of these all things here you will get the heat or energy or work done by that devices okay now the next and last is the numericals which is based on par <clears throat> whenever you see some device okay to usme kya hota hai power ke liye 
uh, when you are seeing any device, there is there is some rating, this much power and this PD, as I like how that, like this. I am writing it six volt, ten watt kind of. Means to say, this particular device will get a potential difference of how much six volt and पावर कितना कंज्यूम करने वाला है वो 12 वॉट इस रेटिंग का मतलब यही होता है तो एनी डिवाइस यू कैन सी इन योर होम किसी पर भी जैसे फैन पर ट्यूबलाइट पर लिखा होता है ऐसा दिस इज टू रिप्रेजेंट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एंड दिस इज टू रिप्रेजेंट हाउ मच पावर इट विल कंज्यूम ओके सो वी हैव अ डिवाइस हियर ऑफ रेटिंग दिस मच सिक्स वोल्ट एंड ट्वेल्व वॉट एंड और क्या चाहिए सपोज um, अभी तुम इसको uh, कुछ तो सप्लाई दोगे यानी सिक्स वोल्ट सप्लाई दे दो ट्वेल्व वोल्ट आपका क्या है पावर uh, है ओके नाउ जस्ट सॉल्व इट कैलकुलेट द रेजिस्टेंस एंड करेंट कैलकुलेट द रेजिस्टेंस एंड करेंट बट यू आर सप्लाइंग योर ट्वेल्व वोल्ट सपोज तुम अभी ये तो रेटिंग है उसकी रेटिंग कुछ और होता है और हमारे घर पर जो पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस होता है वो कुछ और होता है नॉट नेसेसरी द डिवाइस दैट यू आर रनिंग विल हैव सेम पीडी जितना कि आपके घर पर पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस आता है ओके सो हियर द पीडी इज सिक्स वोल्ट बट यू आर पासिंग ट्वेल्व वोल्ट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस टू दैम ओके नाउ जस्ट नीड टू फाइंड यूर द रजिस्टेंस वी हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फॉर्मूला ऑफ पावर राइट क्या क्या फॉर्मूला है एक तो पी इज इक्वल टू वी आई है ओके दूसरा क्या फॉर्मूला है पी इज इक्वल टू वॉट पी इज इक्वल टू आई स्क्वेर आर ओके वॉट फॉर्मूला वी विल यूज हियर दैट वी हैव टू डिस्कस हियर ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड पावर देन वी नीड पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एंड करेंट सो डू वी हैव पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस यस वी हैव डू वी हैव करेंट नो वी डोंट हैव करेंट सो वी नीड टू फाइंड करेंट फर्स्ट करेंट के लिए Do we have resistance? No. We have one more formula. P is equal to what? V square by R. We can use this. Right now we can use this. Okay. So thus P is what? Twelve watt. V we have given six into six divided by resistance R. Now just solve it like this. It will be what? 3 ohm. You got the resistance of what? 3 ohm. Now, if you want to find the current, then uh, you can use this formula, even this formula also. Whatever you want, just put this formula. P is equal to V I. Now, the value of potential difference is given. We have how much? It is 6 volt, and the value of current we don't know, but the value of power we have given. The power कितना दिया हुआ है? It is 12. Right? Okay. So we can find current twelve by six. So what will be the value of current? Current will be is equal to two ampere, right? So this kind of question uh, you may have to solve power or simply to solve uh, to find resistance to find current by using the formulas of power because we have two or three formulas of power. So we can use any one of them. Here we got resistance by using the formula P is equal to V square by R. Here we got current by using the formula P is equal to V I. So you can use this kind of uh, you can solve this kind of question by using this all formula. There are different different kinds of uh, question in power. So you can solve that easily. Only we need to learn the formula of power. That is P is equal to V Y, P is equal to I square R, P is equal to V square by R. And obviously, वो पीछे वाला भूलना नहीं है. P is equal to क्या P is equal to power is equal to work done by time taken. That also we need to learn. So these all are the numericals which is uh, actually in your chapter electricity. I just explained one or two questions of each type, but this much is not enough. You have to solve lot of numericals actually in this chapter. So I'll give you assignment which will based on these kind of questions. Okay. So okay, I'm ending this session here. Thank you.